How you doing? John Zimmerman with tabletclass.com here to give you a quick tutorial on subtracting fractions. Now, let me uh, go ahead and just um, set the expectation for this uh, quick video. First of all, don't attempt to subtract fractions if you don't know how to add fractions. Okay? If you know how to add fractions, you'll be able to subtract fractions. It's basically the same thing. Okay? Just easier to um, learn how to add fractions first. Okay? That's the first thing. The second thing is, it's a quick tutorial. Um, you know, uh, if you need more information beyond this, come on, um, come on by to our uh, website, tabletclass.com. We'll be able to uh, turn you into a fractions ninja in no time. But anyways, let's see if this video can help you out. All right, so whether you're adding or subtracting fractions, the thing that you have to look at is the denominators. Okay, so these are these bottom numbers here. We have to uh, in, well, what we need to do is make sure that they're the same number. Okay, if they're not, then we have to, you know, do a few extra steps. But if they are, this is really easy. Okay, like in this case, I have three fifths minus one fifth. So if the denominators or those bottom numbers are the same, all I'm going to do is just write one of those numbers right here, one of the denominators. That's five, and then I'm going to subtract the numerator. Or the numerators, excuse me. Those are the top numbers. So that's three minus one. Okay, so three minus one is two, and there we go, two fifths. You solved the problem, and everyone's happy. Okay, so this is the basic idea. Same thing. If this was an addition problem, okay, all we would do here is just simply add uh, the uh, the numerators. Okay, so this is uh, why I say start with learning how to add uh, fractions. Now, one thing I want to uh, to show you real quick especially when you're subtracting fractions, is you got to be careful with your um, integers, your positive negative numbers. Let me give you an example. If we had 1 fifth minus 3 fifths, okay, so I'm just kind of like reversing the problem here. So my denominators are the same, so it's going to be 5. But now with my numerators, my numerators, what I'm going to do is go 1 minus 3. Okay, 1 minus 3. And let me ask you real quick, what is 1 minus 3? Okay, that's a negative 2. All right, so that's negative 2 fifths. Now, if you're not learning or if you haven't learned positive and negative numbers or integers, let's say maybe you are a fifth grader and this made no sense to you, just ignore it. If, however, you're in, let's say, pre-algebra, algebra 1, and you know, you're totally distracting your class because the person next to you is passing your notes and you're always in detention and you've already supposed to have mastered this stuff, then you need to pay close attention because this gets a lot of students in trouble. Okay, so enough of that. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at this quick problem Okay, on subtracting fractions. So if I have 4 and 1 half minus 2 and 2 thirds, what do I need to do? Well, both of these here, both of these fractions are what we um, are in the form of what we call mixed numbers. So I don't particularly like to work with mixed numbers. Let's turn them into improper fractions. So we have to go 2 times 4, that's 8, plus 1. Okay, so that's going to be 9 halves. Okay, so hopefully you understood what I just did there. Just changing this fraction and writing it in a different way. So we'll do the same thing with the other fraction. It's going to be 3 times 2, that's 6, plus 2 is 8, 8 thirds. Okay. So now here, once again, um, assuming you know how to add fractions, I would have to go ahead and get uh, common denominators, okay? The, uh, our lowest common denominator, and our LCD would be what? Okay, and I'm not going to go ahead and teach you how to do uh, how to find an LCD. However, it is six, okay? So that means we have to convert each of these fractions to have a denominator of six, and hopefully, what I am doing here makes sense to you, okay? I'm simply multiplying each fraction, okay, each one of these fractions by another fraction such that I can um, um, have uh, 6 as a denominator, okay? So this should be 27 over 6 minus 16 over 6, okay? And now what I've done is create a situation where I have the same denominator, that's 6, and then it's just going to be simply 27 minus 16. Okay, I'm going to subtract the numerators, right? Hopefully I'm not going too fast for you. I just have a short amount of time to try to teach you this stuff here. 
Uh, this would be what here, 11.6, okay? Now, that's basically it. I'm gonna show you something here real quick for those of you who are like totally lost and still need help with this. I'm gonna show you something real fast, okay? So, shortcut. We all like shortcuts. Here's a shortcut for you. Okay, when subtracting or adding fractions, you can do this business. Okay, you can take this number here, this denominator, multiply it this way. So it's going to be 3 times 9. Okay, then I'm going to do 2 times 8. Then I'm going to go across. So let's see how this works. 3 times 9 is what? 27. Then I'm going to go minus, because this is a minus problem or subtraction problem, 2 times 8, which is 16. Okay, and then I'm going to multiply the denominators. That's my last step. That's 6. So that's 17. Excuse me. Oops, that's 17. Excuse me. 11 over 6, and that was the same answer we got. Okay, you can always do this procedure for those of you who are totally just, well, no matter what you do, are going to just, uh, not, you know, struggle with fractions. Remember this. This works really good for adding and subtracting fractions, and then you have to just be careful. You have to uh, um, reduce your answer. Okay. If you need more help, first of all, I encourage you to leave comments on this video. Come check us out, tabletclass.com, clear and understandable math. Okay, if this didn't help, believe me, we have stuff that will. Why? Because we connect with real life students like yourself. We have a 30 day free trial, an awesome program. Um, check us out. Hope, uh, hopefully this helps you out. And um, if you're struggling, fractions is one of these common things, that, uh, along with a couple basic um, order of operations, positive neg negative numbers that if you don't correct, if you don't really master, you're just going to continue to struggle. So let us help you. Okay. Have a good day. Bye-bye.